New York City landlords are under pressure to get smoke shops off their properties when illegal activity is discovered, like selling cannabis without a license. These landlords face fines. CBS 2's Dave Carlin investigates. Smoke shops. If you live in New York City, you are close to one or more. Literally on every block, you see like two of them. It's too many. <laughs> They're all over. A report on all smoke shops, those operating legally and illegally, was compiled for the city council and counted more than 1,500 citywide, with 400 in Manhattan alone. And some of them are opening the illegal smoke shops at 7 a.m. near a school. That upsets me. Council member Gail Brewer scored invites with the sheriff's department going on raids and says public reaction surprised her. People think they're legal. To shut down shops not following the law, the city goes after some landlords to make it their business to police their renters. After a raid, landlords may face fines and are under pressure to void the leases. Smoke shops are starting to vanish. Last week, one closed in this space on 9th Avenue in the 40s in Hell's Kitchen. For some New Yorkers eager for even more of a crackdown on unlicensed cannabis shops, this case is one down, dozens more to go in Hell's Kitchen. We know that there's state legislation that will really fine the smoke shops themselves. Some critics blame the smoke shop invasion on the state dragging its heels. Only a handful of recreational cannabis sellers are properly licensed, and some merchants who want in refuse to wait. Is it wrong? Absolutely, but to other people, it's a great lucrative idea to get some money from. Everybody has the right to make a form of living. We want the legal shops to be successful. Brewer's message to everyone, if you want cannabis, go to a licensed shop. In Hell's Kitchen, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.